world, my name is Maya Sundermeyer and I would like to welcome you to the latest episode of my blog series. So far I have talked about my experiences of living with autism and then I like to give my two cents about autism in the media and finally there's a time where I express topics that I am passionate about. So anyway, I most recently had talked about um, feeling disappointed that I was a pigeonholed as, or pigeonholed as more disabled and I was uh, warehoused and babysat by a work program. I also expressed that I was not impressed with the work program or the people that ran the work program. Um, most people think that I am frustrated with my disability. Nope, not true. I'm actually mad at the people that run these work programs because they don't even think for themselves. They let uh, these top experts and uh, psychologists, such as the one that gave me the doctor's report indicating that I was too disabled to work back in 2003. So anyway, um, I would like to talk about something that I read because it revolves around this topic. Um, actually, it wasn't what I read, also what I had uh, seen as well. So anyway, I saw a um, article about uh, people uh, with autism having trouble finding work because there are all kinds of stigmas out there. And so there is a new not-for-profit organization in North Carolina for people on the autism spec spectrum to go back to work. And um, what they do is they provide services such as uh, laundry, um, they uh, make candles, and... Uh, learn some clerical skills and they learn how to clean buses and don't get me wrong I really think that uh, those skills are essential and uh, they'd be helpful for uh, people with autism that want to uh, work while they go to school so they can pay their tuition but I really think that they're being warehoused like I was and they're giving them simple tasks people on the autism spectrum are not as low functioning as you think and they're not as disabled um, I think the people at the top um, have a really good intent about what they are doing, but in a lot of ways, it's for the wrong reasons. It's not to um, help them follow their dreams. It's more like they're feeling sorry for them. And then two, none of the people at the top of this not or not-for-profit organization live with autism. In fact, there are plenty of people that live on the spectrum that are as high functioning as I am and they have great management skills and they have great mindsets how things should be run and uh, here's my two cents about the matter um, I really think what they need to do next to uh, to the laundry services and the candle making they need to have people coming in and uh, they should be teaching them engineering skills and computer programming skills. Uh, they should also be teaching them how to uh, design video games because there are lots of people with autism that have fallen in love with Portal and um, Resident Evil. And uh, what's that other one that's... I can't even think of it. Uh, and then they should have uh, people coming in from uh, organizations where they're looking for volunteers. Because when you volunteer, you can learn lots of skills. And then on top of that, they need to stop holding their hands and, uh, and doing the interviews for them so they get hired on the spot. No, they need to help these people on the autism spectrum move forward, not backwards. <laughs> so... If you have any comments, please be sure to list them below. And also, please be sure to subscribe to my channel. Until next time, my name is Maya Sundermeyer, and I would like to sign off now. Bye.